three planes. The odds are bad this morning. Nearly three to one. Listen. Uh, yesterday, I fulfilled one of my ambitions as a combat pilot. I got one airplane. An American far from home, fighting a war around the world. Books which will tell you the Japanese surrendered because of the two A-bombs. I like to maintain that the Japanese heard the black pirates were coming and they just surrendered. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Charles Dryden was a Tuskegee Airman. Sergeant Carl Reeves, a triple nickel paratrooper. People always said that blacks can't do this and blacks can't do that. But uh, they weren't given the chance to do it. And this was a chance, this was a chance to do it. Blacks fought in segregated units, but things weren't much better at home. Blacks lived in a segregated society. They drank at separate water fountains, used segregated bathrooms. Milton White worked at the Bell Bomber plant. Sometimes we were better qualified than the white people that were in the same department. But we didn't mind that. We thought that was to our advantage. For them, the B-29 and the plant where they built it, although conceived in war, are dedicated to the peacetime development of a new, modern, industrial America to come. But a new America was far off. Black soldiers who'd fought fascism returned home to fight racism. On that base at Waldemar, there were German PWs, and they could go into the white side of the PX cafeteria, and we couldn't. And we were American citizens, we had fought against the Germans, and they could use facilities, and we couldn't. Every soldier they could pick up, the MPs and the police, they picked them up and put them in jail. Every black paratrooper, because they had never seen black. We were the first black paratrooper, so they put us in jail. Three years after the end of the war, a first step. President Truman ordered the military to integrate. This was, uh, I guess, what we call the beginning of the movement. It was reflected in everything from voter registration to a round of civil rights lawsuits. The rage is still so strong, 52 years later, that, that the tears begin to come and they're coming down. At one time, blacks didn't do nothing but menial jobs that didn't count as much. Alex Quaid, WGNX News, Atlanta.